Hello, Internet friends. My name is Bay. This is my forehead, and that's a turquoise ish chocobo in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. But I'm bad. Light commentary playthrough, which you can either watch live, linked below, or watch here on YouTube if you're watching on YouTube in VOD form at a little higher resolution and quality than it is on streaming form because of bitrate limitations. We're looking for stuff in Cosmo Canyon right now, trying to knock everything out before we move on. For some reason. Hello? Oh no! Where did all these monsters come from? Hurry up! We gotta protect the spring! <laughs> Consider it protected? <laughs> Good grief. <laughs> Look good. Ten? No. Four hundred? The meter's going crazy. What's a GZ anyway? How do you even read this? GZ stands for Geisel, his first name. Bugenhagen was the first person to discover that the life stream emits energy we can measure. Oh. <coughs> oh. But that's not worth mention. More importantly, our work remains unfinished. We'd best get on with it while we still have the light. So it's a Geisel counter instead of a Geiger counter? Wait for it. Is the other one just right there in front of me? Wait, is it just me, or does that sound like a weapon? Ah, yes. If that were the case, then maybe... Right, yes. We have not a moment to lose. We must continue our work. This is the site to which I would have you attend next. Good luck to you all, and safe travels. I must go. My people need me.
Fifi, what are you doing, girl? And pretty sure this proto relic is on top of this platform, so we have to go around. up here somewhere, wasn't it? Is the Mog Stool a Jebate? The image is not. Is the image still... If you look at the compass rows in the top left, usually the largest hand of it is pointing north. Which makes me think that, you know, this is obviously the town that it shows. And this is the tower. So it was like, is it in this section right here that I haven't walked around yet? Or is it under this overhang? is not north justified or the image little picture oh yeah it's right here yep i figured it out something isn't right here be careful that's it Keep it together. You're in good hands now. I always want to beg for mercy. I was getting beat up. Now with extra beguiling ninjas. Something happened and some trigger broke. That's it. The gloves are off. Some trigger broke. Photo mode me? I don't know what happened. Oh, there it goes. 
Oh. I was trying to load a cutscene and it was breaking. Stupid. That's the way to do it. Okay. Too much? Can you take over for Here me? Go. Stay strong, okay? <laughs> Moving. Life spring was destroyed. We weren't fast enough. Pouting about it won't help anyone, Nanaki. Only one life spring remains. You must focus. I don't know if that one was supposed to happen like that though because there was a cutscene for it and everything maybe you're supposed to lose one So this is south of the Mog Stool. It's like right here. Right here. It's weird because it's by an active one. But that active one is down a layer. So let me go to the Mog Stool. You don't have actually anything suddenly new, Thanks do you? For coming to our Mughal Emporium. No. Come again soon. Koopo. Get some uh, Koopos in the chat. Oh yeah, it's on the other side. See no one's here. Weird. I don't see any monsters this time. Hmm. It appears that this site has gone fallow. This man's a woodmancer. Oh, there's a boss fight room. <laughs> Cloud, the Marco meter, if you would. Oh, my word. Oh, I tell you. We'll handle these guys. Get back. Whoa. <laughs> that it? Come on. I, I was stunned and couldn't move. Apparently. That's good, right. Saint Lausch Leaf? Take the lead. You can do it. You won't regret this. <laughs> Get more. Get <laughs> this calls for more Yuffie. <laughs> you need to chill. Come on. How do you like this? I've been webbed. 
I have been webbed. This ends here. Keep it up. too old for this <sighs> my point exactly <laughs> I learned far more than I anticipated today though I harbored doubts I now concede that you were right something is happening to the planet many questions remain but I can share with you some answers life springs are fonts of Marco whose locations are dictated by the life stream's ever-changing flow. Yet in all my years, never have I seen a once thriving spring wither in so short a time. While still just a theory, given all I have witnessed, I believe the planet is changing on an unprecedented scale. Ah, the weapons. I first learned of them from amusing fables and Cetran tomes. Quite frankly, I did not believe they existed. I thought them merely allegorical. Thus did I dismiss the tales of your encounters with these incredible creatures. No, that's not it. In truth, I was terrified. Weapons are born into existence when the planet is in crisis. And the survival of all creation is at stake. I hope you will forgive me my discourteousness. You came to me in good faith, and I turned you away. But we must face our fears. Only then can we hope to overcome them. And so I face mine. The weapons have come, and they portend a grim future for us all. In the grand scheme of both the planet and the life stream, the lives of us mortals and the sublunary parts we play are undeniably inconsequential. For our world is the accumulation of trillions of souls, an assemblage of all life that ever was and will ever be. But that is far too reductive a way to view the cycle which sustains us. We are, after all, a part of the planet. And the planet is a part of us, too. We mustn't forget that even the smallest of ripples can gather the strength to become the greatest of waves. It is thus incumbent upon us to do all we can in the time we are allotted, to not die a ripple. I endeavor to do just that. I will continue to work to uncover the planet's secrets. And if I find anything, I will let you know. All right, just... Try not to overdo it. For me? <laughs> oh. Now who could this be? Why, it's from a watchman in town. How odd. Oh. What did you say? Is something wrong? I fear there is. The survey team has returned with reports of sightings of key spirits within the Vale. But they were sealed within the cave. Indeed they were. I can attest to that. 
So how did they get out? Well, these are spirits, Nanaki. Who knows what they can or cannot do? Though I know this is sudden, will you lend us your aid? <laughs> Go and speak to the Watchmen at the gate. I will return to the Vale on my own. Yeah, that's that's Nanaki's real voice. Yes. That's his actual voice. He was just... He was speaking like he was uh, older so that he could be taken more seriously when we first met him. That's why you, he had the... Yes, but you know, gravelly voice is more mature if you take it more seriously like an adult. But in, in his... Lion Wolf years, he's only about 16 years old to us. He's 48 in his years, but he's only about 16 to us. So if I go here and go up, when you didn't notice, uh, two chunks ago during all the Cosmo Canyon stuff. Basically, when we, first, when we fully got here. That's been his voice for a while now. I don't know if I find him more whiny. Maybe he just feels more comfortable. So he's just... Speaking a lot more and just sharing his. Okay. This is the highest takeoff point. We're going here. I, I think this is correct. I want to go there. I want to climb that tower. Yeah. Oh, maybe that one right there does it. If we don't have to be this high, but might as well. It doesn't suit him. I don't know. I think it's fine. Supposed to be a teenager. There's an elevator up, or you could take the stairs. Yes. also makes more sense with like his mane and how he looks because he just looks younger and now has a younger voice versus before when he was trying to not be treated like a kid you know, he's very kid like
Wait, there is... There's like climbable... Hmm. I don't think I can, I, they won't just let me jump. Doesn't look like the HQ squad's here yet. I've tried just jumping off of areas with the chocobo, and you'll you can only jump on the landing of the takeoff strips. Boxes. <laughs> Okay, go, uh, Gilead. Almost. Until the next, uh, money sink accessory. Ba -dum -bum -bum. This appears to be the fourth and final site. Once you've repaired the font and opened the altar, the proto relic will be yours to claim, if my readings are correct. I've applied a final update to RoboChad, which should allow you to handle whatever comes your way. I'm just going to do the automatic gambits because, yeah. I'm not sitting here for 20 minutes trying to figure out optimal strategies. Augmentation and shock. King Flan. What you got for me, Chadley? Cure multi shot and haste field. Condition survive for 30 seconds. It'll put down a haste field. Again, no elemental stuff specifically. Tour the system is very much based on countering elemental weaknesses, and then the defaults don't do any of that. This one just buffs itself, shoots stuff in the air, or auto attacks it. And costs cheaper. This one does the super move as long as it's been alive for 30 seconds. It buffs itself and then just shoots. Oh, I guess if it doesn't have an element, then it can't... can't be taken it can't be hurt this guy all it does is heal and haste all right 
Let's try it. So those don't want to be targeted by more than two. also weird. This guy doesn't have an auto attack. So it doesn't stop moving. Hmm. I don't know how that was supposed to work. I just gotta keep walking forward. Why would it do that? That's super weird. Yeah, to apply the haste field. But that means it's basically useless. Until I can push a lane to the boss. Hmm. That means it doesn't actually heal. I guess I need to summon it after my bots have taken damage. So that it actually does heal. Weird. They buff each other. Does the boss not want to be? Oh, it doesn't matter if it's overwhelmed. Okay. These guys just tunnel in. Just body blocking. Robots.
Just send him in. Uh oh. They may be a little too aggressive. Don't do it. Hmm. Zap him. Zap him. Only got five seconds left. I have lost. Okay. Is the boss healing? Doesn't show that he has any healing. He phase shifts. And then he just has all any weakness he'll cast anti bot and then otherwise he just bonks hmm. damage yet. There he goes. Give him the zap. Hey, field's going down. Too bad he's gonna immediately get black. Or not. What are you guys doing? I'm just hanging out. That's not what ideal. Zap him. Now they're all buffed up. I don't know if this will actually be good to do it all here because there's a huge squad and they're all buffed. Pour in the damage. Super aggro. You gonna squish. Ooh! Heals too strong. Zap him. Oh, he got zapped. Okay. That was fine. Hey, would you look at that? Proto Relic confirmed. When I die, will I return to the live stream too? Given what I am? Well, yeah. Why wouldn't you? Oh.
What's that? A gift Wedge left behind for us. Listen, I just... Uh, and I want to say thanks. You all being here, it helped. Oh, we... we didn't really do anything. Now that the ruins are fixed, what's next? Uh, actually, I was wondering if maybe... we could... join up with you guys? Wait, you can't be serious. Think about it. We haven't heard Jack from HQ. But these guys are out there making a difference. Uh, I know, but... What do you say? We'd be happy to tag along if, uh... And who the hell said you could? People not willing to die for the cause got no place with us. Uh, I'm sorry. I just thought that... Your hearts are in the right place. But y'all... Y'all got a different path to walk. One that's... All your own. I can't eat another bite. <clears throat> I suppose it's time for yours truly to say his piece. <laughs> Here it comes, the grand finale. May the planet guide your words. <clears throat> and keep them brief while she's at it. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> so, the five of us here all came together because we wanted to save this planet of ours. Ain't made much money. Ain't made a lot of friends either. But the one thing we do have deep in our hearts is a passion. A fire that burns for the cause. That won't stop burning till Shinra goes up in smoke. The road ahead won't be easy. But I ain't stopping. Because even if it costs me my life, I'm taking down Shinra and taking back our planet. So if you got the guts, then come with me. <sighs> I'm hungry after all, for justice. <laughs> I, you know I'm in. My man. Well, if everyone's feeling it, how about we keep things going with another round? <laughs> Tifa, get me another Cosmo Canyon. Sure. Make it five. <laughs> 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 Tifa. Hmm? This isn't what they'd want for us. Now, I'm not saying we should forget about them. No way I ever could. But you and me, we gotta stop living in guilt and regret. Yeah. Today's a new day, people. So let's not waste it. Come on, y'all. <laughs> hey, wait. Forgot this. Here. Where'd you put that, Cloud? Hmm? Gilgamesh. Here we go again. Huh? 
just give it up. The proto relic's staying with me. Ha! Silence! You caught me unawares once, but it will not happen again! Burning desire to reclaim my stolen prize rages evermore. That which you have taken shall be returned. Oh, I'm actually fighting him now? Oh, okay. Ooh, music. No holding back. And the Proto Relic's literally parts of his armor. He's weak to a lot of things. bad for confound it without the power of genji i am outmatched that blade you wield oh, the mere sight of it has kindled in me a covetous desire mm -hmm. could it be that hunger for weapons brought me hither. Wherefore does the memory elude me? Return what you have stolen. My Genji! Give it back! Cartel! <laughs> Stand and deliver. Uh, uh, halt, I say. Uh, Let it go. Uh, not until you return what is mine. Uh, uh. Only then shall I rest. Only then shall you know peace, but not until that day. <laughs> the proto relics just seem to be parts of his armor. Yeah. Which in a weird way I think we're building a, a raid boss. Fascinating. I believe I understand the situation. All this time. He was seeking the proto relics in order to restore his lost memories and make himself whole. Guess so. Wait, so what exactly are the proto relics? It is, of course, too early to say anything for certain. But I suspect they may be some manner of armaments formed from matter not normally present in this dimension. If we assume the giant was also from another dimension, then there is a possibility that he was the original owner of the proto relics. Wait, so if they are his. Does that mean we should give him back? Given the phenomena he has been able to conjure in this dimension without the proto relics on hand, I shudder to think what havoc he might wreak were his powers fully restored. Mm. It might be prudent for us to gather a bit more information on the proto relics before we decide to return them. For now, I propose that we retrieve the artifacts and perform a thorough analysis. 
Oh no. I should have seen it coming. I should have seen it coming. The same thing with Fort Condor. Say, you wouldn't happen to know anything about the SRC, would you? They were trying to make a deal with HQ, and I don't know what their game is, but it smelled like trouble. Well, here's hoping it's just a misplaced hunch of mine. Wait, come to think of it, I don't see Gigia. Did he? He went off on his own after we got to Cosmo Canyon. Said he had something to take care of. Hope Gigia's doing all right out there. Wait, come to think, he went off on his own. Oh, Gigi's doing all right out there. Had to go and assume, didn't I? What was I thinking? All right, well, we got to see what these hard mode gears and gambit offer. I wonder if you can do the automated stuff. Maybe you can't. We'll try. High score, duration, portal HP, robots deployed. Right. Robot deployment is restricted in different ways to putting on the stage and auto programming is not permitted. Conversely, there are more gambits and actions from which to choose. So outfit your robots with the most efficient combination of them to overcome the odds. Do I know what kind of restriction there is before we go in? You cannot deploy robots of the same color as the enemy leader which will chain colors when it phase shifts after losing HP. Therefore, controlling the enemy leader's elemental affinity is key. Hmm. So you probably do want the robots programmed in a way. to have See, here's the thing. You, you keep going. Oh, gosh. There's a bunch of them. So the ATV goes up real quick. Design them like kind of similar.
Yeah, but I wonder how much... Do you want one buff bot or do you want all three to have different two different elements? Because the boss is gonna change elements. This one's fire and air. Should they all be anti-air as well? Or just one be anti-air? Because they do need... Maybe these can have the stronger melee, the regular melee attack. Oh, we only have one. I see. I just wonder if, if having them cost a lot, but then be kind of chunky is the play. to have what's it all what's the um what was the gambit that they're alive long enough oh yeah because then you can modify their hp make them tankier cost more make them Squishier costs way less. But what was that one that I saw before? Like being alive X amount of time? How do you do advanced action? If I make this guy missile, or you can just make one cost a little less regardless. This one can cost less because it's going to be farther away, but then probably shouldn't have haste field then. No, but it might stay away. I want to put the modifiers at the very end. Then you can just do. 
We do this. One of them will just gain HP for nothing. I did it again. Oops. And this one can have, I don't know, augmentation. Enhances non elemental attacks, activates augmentation. So this actually, you must select. This one's got the hyper lariat. So if this one gets targeted by. Well, then you do this, I guess. Targeted by two things, it'll augment, and then it will prioritize the hyper lariat. This one will prioritize air and then thunder. And this one. This one doesn't have an auto attack anymore, though. Hmm. I see. make this one tankier would then cost even more. Oh, no, I have one one minus cost for the cure one. Okay. I'm not using all of the major actions. Maybe I just have this as just foe. Fire, and then I mean, there's so many little things you can make it do like deprotect and debuff and stuff too. One thing I'm wondering is these all I think they are expensive. They're just expensive. I'll just save this layout just so I don't forget all this work that I've done. Because the big thing we just did with the last one is well, how we won is that one of the bots was super basic and was super cheap. And you just spammed it. But if bots are locked to lanes... So I can't deploy blue right now. And yeah, they're all pretty, ex all my bots are pretty expensive. having a uh, cheap bot. Oh, whoops, I was seeing the wrong thing there. Oh my gosh, really? Already? Dude, there's so much damage to my portal. What the hell? Oh, see? That's why you want a haste field to not attack often.
Yeah, okay, this is gross. Uh, how did I... No one was attacking it? Whatever. Alright, well, he locks blue first. Well, if that's the case... How about this one instead? This one is just... Well, this one should be tankier then. Very... This is, it would take a lot of... Probably take a lot of uh, fine tuning. The question is too: is does the AI summon the same bots every time, or the same goobers? Nope, it's not the same goobers every time. They just ignore. They just ignore my dudes. Hmm. Okay, so my bots are too expensive. So they probably all want to be at like a hundred. So you really got to counter the elemental stuff because these guys just do not take damage. This also might be the hardest challenge because it is the fourth one, you know? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm dead here. You have to probably make a loadout very specific for this guy. He have summoned a lot of, um... A lot of fire flans, flans. So lightning bot being cheap, probably pretty good here. Yeah, yikes. Well, immediately more difficult than Fort Condor, without a doubt. Lightning bot needs to be cheaper. I mean, I'm sure there's a gambit walkthrough on online for all this. So yeah, this bot should be cheaper. Also, it doesn't seem this guy doesn't do any air. Maybe I just all of my air gambits can be removed. No, I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I, okay, too many, okay, no, too many buttons. This guy doesn't seem to summon any air dudes. Looks like you want 
Thunderbots to be the cheapest. Since this guy is no, I'll probably just do oh bravery shots on the other one. Yeah, see this this is where this I think self casting something on yourself is probably better. Pop out, regen. This was what? Targeted by two foes. This guy doesn't get to come out. They locks the blue bots immediately. I don't think this guy really needs anything else. I don't know. It'll just cost more. And a lot of free actions. Could use a one of these. I don't know if he's was he popping anything out that was fire weak? This is a lot of, a lot of min-maxing, which is the whole point of this mode. these early for tempo, huh? Oh, he does have flying dudes. I didn't notice that before. Hmm. So you still need to have something that can counter air as well. Yeah, this is going to take a lot of grinding. I don't know if I'll record these. I can't even deal with this guy. I can't attack him. So I just lose. Need to have at least one bot that isn't blue. Need one bot that isn't blue.
to deal with air. Yeah, that's great. Portal low HP and all that, but... We need to have like a, a a stop bot to slow down the uh because the big guys just continuously walk at the crystals and attack them they do not care about the bots yeah this is gonna take a lot of trial and error they don't just look it up it's like I need a bot that doesn't have an element that probably is really cheap that either cast stop or cast slow to control lanes. But then I can only use one other bot and that bot can only have one element unless I make that bot have all three elements. To make that bot have all three elements? It's too much. It's not something I can do while recording. Is is it's going to take a long time. This could this could easily take hours and hours and hours. Um Okay. Let's go fight the hunt mob. Which is in this cave. And oh, nothing is actually that close. There's probably something down here in this corner that I didn't didn't discover. Jabberwock. We know very little about this enigmatic fiend at present. I suggest you expect the unexpected. Oh, okay. The wyvern awoken is a Jabberwock. Why is it? Okay. I do not know. If elements are going to be super important. Hmm. Okay, this one, one day I'll, I'll get your oops one day I'll get your uh, horn done Whatever you've got now. Hear it? Too bad. That 
Wait until it shields up and then hit it with fire. With me. Don't overdo it. Oh, petrify. Button, but whatever. Let's do it. Right. I believe in you. I was doing. What is it, craft? The Draconic Ring. That's right. It increases the limit gauge charge rate upon successfully blocking. Which... Seems like it really good on Aerith, but she's wearing something that makes her immune to silence, which is also really good. Could be really good if you're actually just doing it on... Cloud and Red would be good with it if you're playing as Cloud. You hate to be blocking, so you can't do Punisher mode. I don't know. That's an interesting one. And you don't want to use it on Tifa, because Tifa's not blocking a lot if you're actually using her to attack bosses. Interesting item. 
so a new side quest has appeared. That was the last fiend here underneath. I think it's underneath, otherwise it's up by the airstrip. here the same way, is it? It may be up by the airfield. Maybe it's airfield all the way at the end on the top of the mountain. Let's go see. I know you snuck a shot of me earlier. Correct. Nothing sneaky about it. Is that so? <laughs> hey, let's get a selfie together, okay? Oh. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, perfect. This one is Oh, 
Dang it. This tree is not in the shot. Can't take a fun of any of these nerds. I think it might be right here. Harsher angle then? Five, please. angle? None of the big rock on the side is in the shot, so... Yep. This one might actually be right in front of Aerith, I think. So finicky. Huh? Wow, it looks exactly like the photo they gave us. Yes. Guess we gotta get these back to Caesar, huh? Let's go turn this in. Oh, is this the other one from the board? Oh, good. Nanaki. We just got word from the survey team that they spotted the Gi right outside of town. Yeah, I heard. Are they okay? They weren't attacked, were they? Don't worry. Everybody's fine. Happened to be near the elevator, so they were able to escape in time. Though they had to leave their truck behind, unfortunately. Okay, I'll go take a look. We can't let more into the veil. Appreciate it. Just, uh, be careful out there. I'm so glad you all made it through. Cheers. Blessings of the planet be upon you. I would like to go to the assembly, please. A seminar is in progress. Ah, the falling stars have indeed revealed themselves to us. Mm -hmm. All three of your photographs are precisely what I require. Yes, these will make a marvelous reference for posterity. Deck of tarot cards. Hmm. As always, our planet is as strong as she is beautiful. No matter the calamity, 
We have no reason whatsoever to fear for her demise. Interesting. It appears that there are more comets than were previously observed. Perhaps this is a sign that our planet has, in fact, grown more robust. Yes, surely it is. And if we take note of their positioning and connect each with lines, just so. I see it, the pattern. An unprecedented configuration. Hey, what did you wish for? Hmm? Mm. Well, only what anyone else would. I just asked the stars to protect us from harm. Right. Of course. That face you made earlier, what was that about? Don't know what you mean. Guess the shooting stars have said their piece. Big meaning of life level up. You guys, come on. If you've been watching live, I appreciate you. If you watch it on YouTube, also thank you very much. Don't forget there's a ton of other playlists if you'd like to watch more of my forehead chew through a bunch of very large RPGs. Got all three Dark Souls, Elden Ring, both God of War, both Jedi games, Final Fantasy 16, Final Fantasy 7 remake before this with the intermission DLC in similar and varying degrees of a seminar is in progress. derpiness but I will see you in the next one